Hello guys, it's me again, Sean, yes. <laughs> and today we'll be reviewing life chart. We'll be reviewing the limits of functions of several variables. Okay? So remind ko lang kayo na sa kahit anong bahagi ng video na to, pwede muna kayong mag-pause for a while. Para, let's say, um, solve nyo muna yung problem bago ko i-discuss. Or that if may hindi kayo mag-gets, pwede rin naman kayo mag-playback ng 10 seconds before or anything else. Okay? Now, bago tayo mag-proceed sa first question, let's have first a major recall. Ano lang to? Very, very short recall lang to ha. For this topic, ang pinakamagandang takeaway is that, for example, you have two curves, C1 and C2. And if the limit along those two curves are distinct or hindi sila equal, we can now conclude that the limit of the function does not exist. Okay? So for the first problem, we are asked to evaluate the limit of xy squared cosine y all over x squared plus y to the fourth as the ordered pair xy approaches the origin. So, kung ayon tatanungin, let's inspect the denominator. Yung 4 is a multiple of 2. Okay. Now, from there, ang may isip ko na lang is, baka pwedeng mag-consider ako ng isang function wherein yung independent variable ay ang variable na may lower exponent. So, in this case, x, no? And that yung dependent variable would be the one having the higher exponent. So, yung y. Okay? And yung exponent ng y must be the quotient of the higher exponent and the lower exponent. Well, bakit ko to ginagawa? So that magiging like terms yung nasa denominator natin if we plug in the value of x no in terms of y so let's simplify this first okay what is y raised to 4 over 2 it's y squared okay so as you can see the curve given by x equals y squared no dumadaan naman sa kanya yung 0 0 right kasi if we have x equals 0 then y is equal to 0 squared so, equal lang din siya sa zero. Thus, satisfying the equality. Okay? So, let's consider that curve. Let's call this curve 1. And again, kuha pa tayo ng isang curve, no? Ako kasi, kapag nakita kong approaching sa origin, yung ordered pair, kinoconsider ko na agad yung mga axes, no? But sige, for this case, let's consider isa sa mga axes, no? So, first, as I've said a while ago, let's take the curve x equals y squared. And, namili lang tayo sa axis. Let's consider the x-axis. Y equals 0. So, along the first curve, we have... So, equal yan sa now limit of y to the fourth, cosine y, all over 2 times y raised to the fourth, as now y approaches zero, kasi nam-substitute na natin yung x equals y squared. No? And further simplifying, maka-cancel yung y to the fourth, no? yung both y to the fourth. So we will now have the limit of cosine y all over 2 as y approaches zero. And this is equal to one half. However, let's look at uh, along curve 2. If we evaluate the limit of xy squared cosine y all over x squared plus y to the fourth, as xy approaches the origin, we have the limit of 0 all over x squared as x approaches 0. But this just implies that the limit along the second curve is just equal to 0. So, as we have recalled earlier, since the limits along c1 and c2 are distinct, or hindi sila equal, diba? well, it's clear that 1 half is not equal to 0, it follows that the limit of x y squared cosine y all over x squared plus y fourth as x y approaches the origin does not exist. Okay, so gentle reminders lang for this kind of 
item, first, ayun nga, make sure yung curves ha, yung ititake yung curves, dapat dumadaan naman sa kanila yung point na ina-approach yan ng ordered pair XY. Okay? Tapos, isa pa, uh, wala naman talagang fix na formula para dito. Dito talaga papasok yung tinatawag na analysis. Okay? So, as you recall, ang uh, course name nga ng Math 23 is Elementary Analysis, no? So, yeah. Ang nagumatter talaga dito is the way you strategize things. So, it's really good to practice talaga. Yay! Okay. Now, let's go on to the second item. For the second item, we are asked now to evaluate the limit of x squared plus y squared all over square root of x squared plus y squared plus 1 minus 1 as xy approaches the origin. Okay? Pag ako kasi kapag nakakita ako ng radical expression, ang nakoconsider ko na talaga at first ay mag-rationalize. Okay? So, sige, let's consider that method. Mamaya may patutunguhan naman ang ating pag-evaluate using that method. Do. Sige. By rationalizing the denominator, we have... Yan. Now, this expression. No? So, ang ginawa natin is nag-multiply tayo ng conjugate. Okay? So, we multiplied yung expression na kinukuha na natin ng limit by square root of x squared plus y squared plus 1 plus 1 all over square root of x squared plus y squared plus 1 plus 1. So, simplifying that one, we now have this thing. Okay? So, by simplifying further, we have this expression. And now, look at this one. What happened is, this will be 0. And since the ordered pair xy approaches the origin, uh, maka-cancel then further tong x squared plus y squared. So, ang matitira na lang ay yung square root of x squared plus y squared plus 1 plus 1. So, plugging in 0, 0, we have this thing. And simplifying further, the limit is just equal to 2. Okay? So, the limit exists. And in particular, it's equal to 2. Now, for the last item... We are asked to evaluate the limit of xy minus y all over x squared minus 2x plus y squared plus 1 as the ordered by xy approaches 1, 0. Okay, so ang um, ginagawa ko, from here nakakita kasi ako ng square. Tapos pwede rin akong makabuo ng perfect square trinomial from here, no? In particular, actually, nandiyan dyan yung constant term ng sinasabi kong perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, x squared minus 2x plus 1, no? Right. So, further factoring, this, we will have uh, the square of x minus 1. Okay? So, if we call this y, yung square of quantity x minus 1, take note that yung point na ina-approach siya ng ordered pair x, y, ay dumadaan sa curve na to. Okay? Kasi, let's try to plug in, no? Meron tayong, ano ba yung y natin? 0, 0 equals x natin is 1, no? 1 minus 1 squared, no? Okay? And simplifying, this is just 0 squared, which is just equal to 0, thus satisfying the equality. Okay? Okay, pwede natin itong i-take as isang curve, no? Okay, now, observe naman natin yung numerator. Your x, y, minus y. Pwede natin itong i-manipulate siguro. Let's try to manipulate this one. So, this will be y times x minus 1. Oh, y, y times x minus 1. Okay, let's consider y equals 
x minus y, dumadaan ba rito yung 1, 0? So, if we have 0 equals... If we have 0 equals 1 minus 1, the right-hand side of the equation will just be equal to 0. Okay, tama. So, this satisfies the equality. So, let's consider the curves given by y equals x minus 1 and y equals the square of x minus y. So, let's take, so yeah, let's call it C1, curve given by y equals x minus 1. And the curve 2, given by y equals the square of x minus 1. So, along the first curve, we have this one. No? So, we will now be getting the limit of y times the quantity x minus 1 all over the square of x minus 1 plus y squared as x, y approaches 1, 0. Further simplifying, this will now just be equal to the limit of y times y all over y squared plus y squared as y approaches 0. So this will be now the limit of 1 half as y approaches 0, which is just equal to 1 half, right? Okay. Now along the second curve, we have the limit of y times x minus 1 all over the square of x minus 1 plus y squared as x, y approaches 1, 0 along the second curve, which is now equal to, ayun nga, di ba, kasi ang ating C2, sa C2 kasi, for the second curve, The second curve, we are considering the curve given by y equals the square of x minus 1. Now, we will now have the limit of this expression as x approaches 1. Now, let's simplify it. Mas simplify it this way. Kasi cancel yung both square of x minus 1. No? Matitira na lang ay itong part na to. Which is, also, which is this one. And this is just equal to 0. No? Kasi non-zero naman ang magiging denominator natin. No? Okay. Since the limits along the two curves are not equal, yeah, we can now conclude that the limit of the given expression as x, y approaches 1, 0 does not exist. I would be all. Thank you.